in this video i'm going to tell you how can you optimize a chemical structure okay so for optimizing a chemical structure you can use the most famous software that is gaussian software okay for it you need to install two different setups one is main setup that is gaussian next setup is gauss view okay this gaussian it will run or optimize the structure and the gauss view it is used to view the structure as well as you can draw the structure okay so these are uh, these two tools are not freeware you have to purchase it from the official website so that is gaussian.com from this website you, you have to purchase these two tools are very useful to optimize the structure okay, if you want to continue uh, computational studies these two tools are very very most important okay so now I'm going to tell you how can you optimize a chemical structure using Gaussian software. So first from the basic level I'm telling you. So you can able to draw the structure using all this periodic table of elements or else there are some ring compounds are also given here. Some models model from this also you can able to draw or else alkyl compounds are also have, give, have been given. So now I'm going to take a small structure. Okay, now I'm going to take a small structure just for explaining you. I'm drawing a structure. It is a CH4 molecule. If I look here again, I'm going to get this. so i want to draw cs3 single bond cs3 okay so I'll just delete all these things so cs3 i'm going to add now so from here the connection should come So now what we'll do is our structure is ready now. So what we do we need to recenter it and clean it. Okay, how can you recenter it? This option center molecule in view. Okay, so I did reset recenter it. Now I can I will clean it. Okay. So I did reset and clean. After doing recenter and clean, you need to go for calculate option after clicking the calculate option you can opt for the first option Gaussian calculation setup in this there are different uh, job types are there most probably most of the researchers they will go for optimization energy and frequency okay these are the three most frequent things you must be using okay so where energy will be used is for finding thermal stability of a compound will go will up, up energy option and the next optimization optimization is to get the bond lengths and bond angles of this molecule and then next frequency is ir frequencies you can able to get okay ir and raman frequencies okay theoretically how does this particular molecule have the frequency levels okay stretching vibration bending vibrations all those vibrations you can able to get from this if you want you can go for uh, optimization and frequency both but now i'm going for only optimization next you can choose a method most probably we can go for ground state only okay if you are going if you want to do any tgdta studies you can choose the other methods okay now i'm doing only optimization okay so i'm choosing only ground state now uh, most probably in most of the research papers you must have seen hard tree fork or hf method okay and dft method dft is density functional theory okay so i'm choosing density functional theory most common uh, thing common and advanced thing and then here you can choose any of this most common thing is b3lyp next basis set is 321 or 6 Three one, anyone you can choose 
I am choosing PHP 1 now and then title if you want to give any title you can give I am just giving e, e pen ok as it is a e pen molecule so I gave a e pen next general in the general you have to choose right connectivity if you choose right connectivity then only you can able to get bond lengths and bond angles next option is compute polarizability so if you choose this compute polarizability then only you can able to get hyper polarizability values okay hyper polarizability is application of nlo properties theoretical application of nlo properties next in the gauss you have to choose mix homo lumo orbitals most of the research papers you may have seen this high occupied molecular orbitals and low unoccupied molecular orbitals we will be calculating okay you need to tick mark this next if you want to uh, get nvo nvo means natural bonding orbitals okay so if you want to calculate them you can choose it otherwise leave it and solvent you can choose a model okay if you if you have synthesized any new compound you are running it okay if you want to compare theoretical and as well as um, computational you have to choose default and then you can choose uh, the solvent which you have used in experimental okay so here now i'm doing only computational so i'm not choosing it i just gave a known so after doing this setup you have to go for submit okay submit and then save okay so here i'm giving name e pen after giving name just click on yes save okay now it is running okay it will take some time okay the time depending upon the molecule okay if the molecule is very big it will take so much of time the molecule is small it will take less time so now we have finished the job okay after finishing click s and there will be two files are to be generated okay so i'm closing all these things now let's close all the gas view okay, this is everything i have closed now so here i'm opening here i have saved okay ethanol there are three sorry two files only generated one is gif okay uh, this gjf is the input file which we gave to run a program okay and this log file it is a log file if you see in the properties you can able to see the file name as log okay log file is the output file gaussian output file and the next the, it is a checkpoint file checkpoint file is used to create homolumos okay so whatever the data which we want everything you can able to get from the gaussian output file so open it in notepad here you can see all the details okay uh, if you want bond lengths and bond angles here you can see okay name of the molecule uh, this is a atom or okay all the number of atoms which are being given and their uh, bond lengths bond angles all these things are given here okay whatever the data you want uh, you can able to get it from here so in detail i'm going to explain in the next consecutive videos so in this video just that's it i just want to tell you how you can run a chemical structure in the gaussian software okay uh, in my next video i'm going to tell you how can you draw homo lumos okay how can you draw homo and Lumo. Okay, that's it for this video. We'll meet in the next video.